Good morning, guys. Today we're going to talk about this stuff, search register. <coughs> All right, though. Um, what you have here is search register. You get different types. The first one I want to show you just an ordinary type. Uh, what normally you see in the front there is a green indicator. Now that green indicator indicates that this unit is still fine. The moment it starts working, I'll show you now the insights and then you'll see the red part. And then it's just a reflection of the, the plastic in the back or maybe a label. And then it indicates that this unit is no good, it used. So, um, uh, okay, let's check the other types here. This is a Phoenix one, but this is a removable. There's a base. You can unplug the cartridge. They call it a cartridge. There's like an indicator or a, it is for different uh, voltage types that you don't put maybe a 275 volts in a 600 volt application. Um, okay, and then this is, they call it the key. And then you can't make a mistake. So this plugs in like this and you only, when this worked, and then you, then you only replace this cartridge. Let's take the other one. Yes, another, another one from Dengard. It's the same story. You just remove it like this, also with a key indicator. Okay, now what you see here, yeah, there's obviously clips on the Omega rail or rail inside your DB box. Um, you get like different voltage types. You'll see in front here is a 600 volt. So it means when there's a potential of 600 volts over the points, then it will clamp. Uh, it is for spikes coming down the power line. It will absorb it and then divert uh, the spike down to ground. We will talk about the connection just now. And then it protects your equipment and the other side of it. Um, it's 100 amps, 2.5 kilovolts, 15 K, KA, KVA, uh, or 600 volts. Uh, the normal household one is a 275 volt because the, our input is 220 volts, so maybe maximum 240. And this is little play 270 uh, just to be safe all right okay let's open this unit let's see what's happening here see there's the green indicator you just remove the, the screws then this is how it looks inside now you'll see yeah there's your input your two terminals there is a MOV, it's a metal oxide varistor. Uh, what happened when uh, that whatever it's spec for, like 275 volt, when this uh, 275 volt spike should occur over the points, it should divert or short out the two points. So I said it diverted to ground. Then it starts acting. Um, but then it, the, you'll see there's a there's a, a little green plastic that makes you give, gives you that green indication with a spring the spring loaded and this point is on that point there but what happens when this thing starts working when there's a big spike coming down the line there's a solder point and then it gets hot and then the solder point releases and then the spring pulls the green away from the front and then you just see the red part and then it's indication that it worked and that it's no useful. Uh, I just want to actually go and let's go and cut this thing off and see what's happening. I'm going to cut say in for instance that solder joint. Let's cut it off. Look what's happening. Cook. There it goes. See it, it goes chuk, and there it relaxes and now the green part is gone. Now I only see the red part and then it's indication that this unit is, is worked but also what happened now there's no connection between uh, the two points so it will still work but it won't help it won't <coughs> uh, actually uh, safe guard your line um, well, as I said earlier you, you can get maybe I found that some of the units still is there it's still there it still show green but uh, it shorts inside. Maybe the the power surge wasn't big enough to to short or to melt the point there. But it still short out the MOV. Uh, so and then it will trap your power anyway. So 
you get my different situations uh, as you go. How you connect this thing, you normally get two next to each other. Then you connect your live, uh, from your live input here and from your neutral input there. And in the, the back, you connect them uh, both together and to your ground. So any spike that comes down the line between live and neutral, it will divert the, the spike back to ground. Um, this is we normally use it. You get different ways of, of connecting it also, but that's the basic way. So this is uh, very interesting. If you ever saw this thing in your in the DB book somewhere, or if you have one in the house, and you see this thing is not green, it's only the red indication, then it's an indication that it worked before, or what it's there for, the reason why it's there for. This is the, good to have this in your house, in your DB board. Uh, for any spikes or normally for load shedding, what you have in South Africa, uh, when they put the power back and there's a power surge and then it will clamp the power surge. It will protect your your equipment, your TV or your um, maybe your fridge from that power uh, surge and then it will clamp it, hold it, uh, keep yourself safe. Uh, so this is what it's for. Uh, very interesting. Okay, um, till next time. Cheers.